ओम शांति गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम इज ऑडियो वीडियो ओके थैंक यू लेट एस टेक कपल ऑफ मिनिट्स ऑफ साइलेंस thank you yesterday we learned about the cycle and the different phases the cycle goes through and while the cycle is going through different phases souls also go through its own phases and we saw golden age silver copper and iron age when souls get depleted when they become impure corrupted then matter also follows that first the soul becomes depleted impure and then matter follows and we reach the final stages of the confluence where we saw the paradigm shift there is chaos there is a new sapling of a new era new civilization at the same time destruction of the old and for this transformation the five elements work together at the same time souls which are corrupted polluted the force of negative is so strong that it you know promotes destruction and that gives way to a newer generation and we also learned that god does not create a physical world nor does he destroy a physical world but he gives knowledge to souls through which when souls become pure matter also follows suits and they become pure too and we also learned that soul supreme soul and matter all three are eternal so it's an interplay between all three supreme soul is the director souls are all actors and matter is a stage which includes sun moon stars and this earth
today we will understand the concept of human tree and the second half i will talk about the spiritual lifestyle what one needs to practice right somebody was asking a question how do we know what is good action and what is not and that i will explain in the second half in that spiritual lifestyle okay now let me share a slide this is the human world tree it is similar to the trees that we see here and the seed of this human tree is the supreme soul you remember in the confluence age we saw in the slide yesterday he there is a paradigm shift he purifies the soul and that purification process begins with the seed himself and those of us who listen to this and also become part of the purification process we also become like a seed and as we saw yesterday we saw the golden age where the humans had an undivided lifestyle there was unity it was one family one community one language and same thing continued in silver age too and then in copper age we saw how souls got attracted to body and that is when it started to give birth to impurities and that continued to iron age also now you will watch something interesting and you will see the tree has many branches as the tree grows you will see branches happening and these branches is where you see religion being established abraham buddha christ islam each branch you can see as the tree gets older there are newer religion that starts to come up they get established one thing i want to point out here if you look at each of this tree branch will also go through a phase of golden 
silver copper and iron what it means is when this religion gets established there is unity for a while and then it branches out thereby the unity is lost each of this religion which is something you can reflect upon and see when we reach iron age how big the tree has become so many religions and so many branches and in this whole expansion especially in the iron age souls have forgotten the seed and the very beginning of the tree they are so lost in in this expansion and once upon a time that unity that was there golden and silver never existed after that all of these souls who were here they branched out to one of the religions and the tree became very huge when this golden age began there was a population of 900000 here and when we come here to iron age that is today we have got population of close to 8 billion and you can see how the growth of humans has happened over a period of time is that clear so far and there was a question yesterday that you know all this 9 billion who are here how will the transition to golden right i will give an example of how this works as i mentioned golden age souls are pure matter is pure if we take a light bulb if, if it is a zero watt bulb it gives light you take a 40 watt bulb 60 watt bulb or a 100 watt bulb they all give light and their brightness increases as the watts increase so if you like look at a 1000 watt bulb or a 5000 watt bulb and compare that with a 40 watt bulb what is the difference can anybody say The more light more light energy more brightness more brightness and also the coverage the distance yes. when the light is bright the distance is far too yes right similarly the 
degree of purity varies from souls some souls as i mentioned earlier yesterday we go through that 16 celestial degree 14 celestial 8 celestial and 4 celestial and they all when they start play their part here their degree start to deplete initially it was a powerful soul with highest light of purity so the bright light or the souls with the highest level of purity will come down here and that's how the population starts with 900000 and as and when the when these 900000 come their level of purity and the level of purity of the matter matches and that's how they get on to earth and they get their body and as the tree grows soul according to their capacity of purity they will come down number wise by the time we reach iron age the population is 8 billion so naresh you had that question did the answer yours was it satish i i think it was naresh okay so that's how the population increases as time passes by it is based on the purity level of the soul any questions on this human tree can you explain again uh, how the population increases um, i i was not able to get it okay so as i gave an example of the light bulbs you know 1000 watts you know 40 watts each bulb they give their complete capacity in you know, a 40 watt bulb can light up only to that capacity but it gives output to the full capacity of its but a 1000 watt will give output which is of its capacity so here the capacity of the soul is measured in terms of purity when supreme soul comes he is the highest purif purifier i mean he is the purest form of energy and if i can get to that level of purity that means a soul light is that bright and if i reach 40% 50% of that purity that means my bulb is that bright so there is a correspondence between soul and matter when matter is supremely pure which can accommodate a 1000 watt bulb kind of soul it will get that attraction and that is how souls get body according to their level of purity so if a soul is 8 celestial degrees it will come at the time when the matter is to that level and that's how the population increases so all this i think that question was mine perhaps now i recall so 
all the souls which were waiting mm-hmm. uh, while the the gold gold age was going on mm-hmm. when it when things transition to silver some of the waiting ones came into that phase is that right correct okay and one soul how many times does it how many bodies does it change like during like one age you can calculate right as i mentioned um, in the golden age the max um, life span for one birth is 150 years okay yeah and then as um, take few births there and then the number of births start to reduce as the cycle moves the matter also reduces mm-hmm. in its power soul also starts reducing it <clears throat> and there is a time when you know when the newer souls come their level of qual- the purity and the le- the souls that are already there they match because they have already gone down so moment we come and take birth a day by day it starts to go down we may not notice it that easily but that's how it happens even though it is very very gradual but it does happen so even at this time current time there are souls there are higher per se what you know what is wise or purity wise they're still out there and they will take a body a form or enter a matter a body and then how uh, trying to understand so uh, ratio wise are there more souls still out there with more purity 100% purity versus what we see because of the increase in population there's smaller bulbs like wise you know it's confusing i'm not sh- sure if i'm asking the right. I, i i don't understand so i think my questions not coming out correctly got it so let me try to explain hopefully i think um, it might answer your question i guess um when souls are here their level of purity is different and as they take births their level of purity starts to reduce reduce okay okay they will not see if it start for example they start with 1000 watts okay and when they are here it will not be 1000 watts it right. will be 800 watts and others who are in that 800 they will also be there and right. when you come to iron age assume that the one who was 1000 watts here when they come here it will be like a 40 watts correct and the ones who are 40 watts will also be here Hmm. Did that clarify? Yeah, that clarifies. But so that is multiple birds, reincarnations from golden Correct. age to silver age to Correct. copper to iron age. And now the uh, purity has depleted. Yes. But at the same time, I was questioning is, are there still hoping souls are out there that have that... purity of what was in the golden age okay. i'm sure there is few here and there but still there yeah as i mentioned it is a combination of souls purity and the matter's purity matter's purity okay if a soul is a 1000 watt bulb today and matter is not that pure that soul uh, will not get a body construct equal to the 1000 watt it has to wait till the matter also gets purified and what god does now is he has planted a sapling as i mentioned earlier 
souls have to become pure first only then matter follows the purity i see okay got it now. matter okay. cannot become pure no. unless souls become pure first souls become pure souls are okay. very powerful souls can drive actions on this earth true so when a baby souls is born souls make the highest civilization they start souls do that and okay. they are the ones who contribute for bringing the matter also low hmm. yeah sorry go ahead you are asking something no i uh, my concern you were talking about the soul entering a body but when um a baby is conceived right huh. don't know whether that is going to be pure the matter how what's level the matter it's going to become into a baby form so the soul has to enter right so how would a soul know that this would be the right form matter form to enter to become you know make it a better or pure matter body and enter that so the soul is you know also more pure and the body is pure yeah how well, would a soul know like saying you and me i'm i'm also thinking at this same time that shivani mm. is, is would be a perfect example a pure matter a pure soul mm. right am i does that am i understanding that correctly what i would say um, is we all are in the process of purification including yes. shivani yes okay if she is 1000 watt bulb 1000 watt purified she will not have a body here oh period really? okay hmm for a soul to be pure and the matter also the same level then we are talking okay soul is at their level and matter is on that level and then there is a combination of that which produces a body which is beautiful which which can take for 150 years with no health issues mm -hmm. age gracefully but now as i mentioned god has come to give us this knowledge souls are in the purification process Ah. souls have to become pure i become you become a deity not going into golden age before i need to become pure i need to have divine qualities in this birth in the confluence age is the age where souls from a completely degraded four celestial degrees they go all the way up to 16 celestial degrees and then shed this body mm. and when the matter is ready they will come down okay good It's question though complicated yes trying to understand <laughs> thank you sure yeah yes right uh, so the golden age silver and bronze and iron age it's is the age of the physical world or is the age of the soul uh, at the level of souls because yeah, a soul common. can be in golden age silver age bronze age or iron age depending upon the karma but if we look at the matter then it definitely depends upon the physical world yeah so how are we going to distinguish that yeah it is a combination of both um the souls purity and the matter purity mm -hmm. um and as the time passes by um the souls level of purity goes down but there are other souls whose level of purity is matching to the matter purity so if you look at this um see say for example you are here okay in this branch 
So at this time, the matter has deteriorated for, from you know, golden and silver. And the souls who are here, they have also become uh, depleted to, the, to this extent. And newer souls, when they come down, their level and the, the, the souls that are already existing, it matches. And so there is a clear understanding between matter and the soul. Understanding in the sense, their purity matches. In other words, a, in a soul which are four celestial degrees, cannot enter here. It doesn't match. And the level, the depth and breadth of purity, we will get to understand as we make our spiritual progress, which I'm going to talk in the next um, few minutes. You know, we have dadis, like you mentioned about Shivani, right? They, they are in the public eye and their endeavor, their practices also has to be accordingly. And if I spend five minutes, half an hour every day in my spiritual progress towards purity and someone else practicing and putting eight hours, 10 hours to progress in their spiritual effort, the reward could, should be different, right? Yeah. Somebody does only five minutes of um, workout and to expect a very healthy body as opposed to someone who is working out four hours. You cannot compare that, right? Sure. So we are all- That's number a good, good example. Yeah, we are all number wise. We all have our own capacity. I cannot be Shivani. Shivani, Shivani, I am myself. Each one of you are yourself. True. We can do to our own capacity. And this drama is very beautifully designed. It is number wise. It is very, very fair. You, whatever the work you do, effort you make, you get the reward. If you look at any corporate company, you know, leaders, they work, they think about that company all the time. Even while they're sleeping, they're thinking of it. And they deserve what position they are in because they invest their time, their energy into it. How many can do that? The right? so same thing in our spiritual um, effort too. I remember when uh, you know some of the initial so-called dadis who came into this institution long back in the 1930s and 40s, they sacrificed, surrendered, dedicated their life to this. Am I able to do that? No. So they came, look at their souls, what capacity, what quality they came with. Yeah. I mean, think of Mother Teresa sure. would be a good example. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. So, I mean, everything is based on effort and reward. You make effort, you get the reward. I have another question. Sure. Do the planets have effects on us? Hmm? Do the planets have, have effects on us? The thing called astrology. Mm. You know, for example, Saturn, they call it, that's the planet of karma. You, mm. Whatever you do, you're going to get back. So if uh, that has a planetary effect on a person, uh, well, that's a different science, of course. But this is do totally a belief. I, I, I totally understand. But is there an effect of planets on human body and human 
souls and karma. I mean, it it could um, affect the uh, soul, influence the soul, but um, souls are very powerful, and souls are living energy. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, Saturn and the other planets—they are not living energy like soul. They play their um, part. they could influence um, just like how you know when sunlight some people are so sensitive to sunlight and when it is 90 degrees or 95 degrees it it affects their body right same thing with cold but souls are so powerful that they can change the influence the matter you know when you start to when the soul starts to become pure the body responds to that purification process and even at this time you will see body you know being getting better with yoga power they say that right you have longevity so there is a um, lot of power in the soul which we um, were not aware of it before until supreme soul descends and awakens us and tells our own qualities and when the golden age is there um, everything is aligned just imagine spring all through the year right and somebody living for 150 years with no wrinkles no health issues a big thing now i mean you are in the medical field and you see you know young children have so many health issues right so it is something we can think and then we can understand that how powerful soul is and all of these um, you know planets they are all adding value to the stage we are the greatest actors they are stage lights but souls are very powerful mm-hmm. yeah because we are living energy we change the five elements mm-hmm. and so we are so powerful if you look at any of the invention creation on this earth is all done by souls through thoughts thoughts and then they have the dna the design and then then they get implemented how smart the human souls are you know 50 years back computers were in a big room like 30 feet by 40 feet whatever and today just your cell phone is so powerful than those computers who did that it is human souls that's very powerful Mm. and even more powerful is the supreme soul shiva who you know changes the impure souls to pure souls big thing mm. only god can do that same souls that created corona covid 19 and the same souls that are creating the vaccine for it yeah there you see and each time you know something uh, comes like a couple of years some other thing came and there was panic and something new has come and we don't know uh, in another 6 months uh, corona 2 might come out we don't know yeah so everything is so complicated and in spite of so much of souls here because they have depleted in their qualities mm. right all of these things are coming out when the population is more all of this confusion will be more hmm not yeah. sure but we are in a different path now and we are now, trying to purify ourselves that's the key thing that's what we are doing it's a process but we are on the journey of transformation yes absolutely sure So with that I would like to do few minutes of meditation
and before i get into the um, spiritual disciplines even that is also important like we mentioned about dadis or shivani who are you know they they the degree of their own um, investment of time and their effort is different and that's why they get there where they are yeah will will we have time for questions later sure yeah okay i think um, uh, sister elizabeth will come and then uh, she will also need some time um yeah i will um, do few minutes of meditation on this and then i want to kind of reflect upon what we learned and it is kind of a pause and then i go into the um disciplines of spiritual lifestyle yeah will you have another three sessions of following this again to continue yeah i think and enlighten us more into this as we are going on yeah i think elizabeth when she comes in she will mention a few things okay and then we will take it from there okay thank yeah. you sure okay as i sit comfortable and quiet i may point to eternal light in the cycle my book when i began my journey where there was unhappiness enjoyed my journey with the mother with every other souls the impact by the good right as i lost the quality and i got attracted to body bodily beings body performed actions which are to create karmic account it did in my journey i lost my identity when i reached the beloved father 
eternal mother. Comes and awake. Tells me about my own journey. Showing so much of love and reminding me that I am his child. Just like any other parent, Shiv Baba, supreme energy, is covering me with all of the qualities. Power. And became pure. I developed the power to help me hold on. I feel real me. I feel my life savior. He's holding my hand and guiding me. Person and healing me and making me exactly like himself. Mm -hmm. I'm fully charged, 16 celestial degrees full.
Thank you. Now with that, I would like to share about the spiritual um, lifestyle and how we can measure if I am making effort or if I'm making not effort, I'm making progress on my spiritual journey. This, these guidelines are given by the Supreme because Supreme knows his children very well. And Supreme never comes into the birth and death life cycle like human souls. But he has this knowledge of purifying impure souls. Being the parent, parent always knows their children very well. And our Supreme Soul, Shivaba, is no less. Wisest of the wise, supreme in everything. So in our spiritual um, endeavor, we call this as four pillars. The first pillar is to keep good company. Um, you know, in our lives, we have so many people um, who can be beneficial in our lives and some companies we keep where we love to have gossip or hang out where there is not much um, benefit but you know we are used to but be aware that company matters because company that you keep they can influence you So at a workplace, if it's a hostile work, uh, workplace, if it is uh, very aggressive, um, you are in that and you know, you are pushed to do certain things. And then um, it, it is, we need to reconnect ourselves back to our own effort making. So consciously making effort to make sure that we have good company where there is I am also making progress and then the other person is helping me on my journey. In other words, to have a spiritual, you know, like-minded people who are in the same journey like yours will definitely help. The next is diet. And the Brahma Kumaris we eat vegetarian food and um, and the food that is prepared is with pure thoughts, good vibrations. Um, the food that we prepare is nourishment for the body. So when the food is purified in our thoughts when you're making and when that food is offered to God in the sense that in our own mind and intellect, God, I am having this food in your remembrance. Thereby, the food also gets purified. 
you might have noticed if somebody who is um, preparing food with lot of love a uh, lot of happiness and if you eat that food you feel very delicious at the same time you go and eat food where there are constantly arguing fighting and they make food that energy you will feel it when you eat you know our body was small baby one time and then it became big and food is main thing for the body to grow right so it is very important um, how the food is prepared what consciousness and to have vegetarian diet will help in meditation in spiritual um divine qualities development as well because the cells in the body becomes calm cool it's not aggressive or agitated yeah so they as we said right soul and body they work together so like how i am taking care of the soul i also need to take care of the body because body is a precious vehicle and i need to respect and love the body uh, not get attached to it but like a caretaker i need to be taking care of it and the third aspect of these pillars is daily spiritual study but the brahma kumari is supreme soul as a teacher he gives us knowledge uh, that helps in our present day to day life where we can make spiritual effort while we do other work whether i am doing a job i go for party um i do shopping all of these things i do when i have this you know daily spiritual study my soul is you know activated with spiritual knowledge when i'm interacting with others even at at a mall when i go when i am interacting with uh, the at the cash counter i am aware and then my my thinking my seeing is different S- spiritual study will help in your own self progress and the fourth thing is purity purity and there are different levels of purity uh, which i will not be touching um, today but celibacy is one thing that it is um, good to maintain that and not to abuse the body um not to overeat and keep there are different levels of purity um you know physical level to keep your own home clean to keep your own car physically clean there are all signs of purity um that helps not only for you and when people come and see you they have internal respect because of that lifestyle that you lead so purity helps in so many ways purity is a sign of royalty as well yeah so these are four pillars in our spiritual endowment this is called a spiritual balance okay any question on this i want to 
ask a question. Uh, when we do prayer before eating, well, that's a that's a good habit. Um, I try to do that every single time. The, how about the things that we sometimes we don't notice? For example, when the the full meal comes in, I pray. But let's say I'm getting something like a snack. Maybe I got got a bunch of nuts, the cashews or something. To uh, like I have to pray uh, at that time too to purify that because uh, you know meal is when it's cooking of <clears> course <throat> thoughts are changing it uh, like the energy is gets changed before eating is we pray that's good too but like a little things when we eat like during the day even when let's say we drink like eight ounces of water so every single time when we drink the glass of water we have to pray for that yeah it is again a thought right how long does it mm. take to create a thought Mm. very quick right so soul mm -hmm. is the fastest rocket it can travel faster than time and sound i mean light and sound so you can have thoughts you know even if you get you are eating some peanuts you just look at it and then even if you Thank look you at somebody in your own mind you can say you know i am eating uh, this peanuts and then while looking at that person you can still have good thoughts for that and connect to the supreme as well at the same time nobody knows what you are doing internally you know what you are doing i think i wrote my prayer too long maybe that's why i was asking this question so i understand what you're saying thank you very much <laughs> even now you are looking at me your one thread mind can go somewhere else too do i know it mm -hmm. you know it right okay right? so i mean we can talk and then you know i to i and then mind goes somewhere else mm -hmm. so, we know that and then we are nodding that yeah yeah i understand and then we are thinking something else right we do that so you can it's a practice yeah thank you thank you sure <laughs> and now um when i initially started um you know with this course you mentioned that this is an organization um but now we will also understand that this is a university not only an organization it is a university in order to become a deity in order to become a pure soul i need to pass or learn four subjects and i become master of those four subjects what are they first is knowledge knowledge means in this foundation course we got to know about soul you got to know the faculties of the soul how the soul cycle of thoughts work then we got to know god we got to know where god resides qualities of god we also understood the difference between body and soul then we got to know the three worlds three dimensions then we also understood the law of karma how our own actions we are responsible we create our own future and then we went through the cycle how the matter the world turns and how souls in combination with the matter they play their part how once upon a time everything was so beautiful 100% civilized and it deteriorates as time passes by and souls have lost 
all their qualities. And when we reach confluence, Supreme Soul comes and awakens us and teaches us spiritual lifestyle. We understood the human tree, how different religions come, when they come, how there was unity in each of the religion initially and how the unity also disappears in those religions when they branch out. So we got to know a lot of these things and to put this into our day-to-day -day life, constantly I can expand on this, go in depth into it and bring changes into my own life is all knowledge. This is one of the subject to know everything about soul, history, geography of the world as well. The second subject is yoga. <clears throat> yoga is meditation and many people find it hard and difficult um, for yoga. But when we do yoga, um, we are able to train mind, able to talk to the self. And the more I'm able to talk to the soul in a loving, friendly way, my mind and intellect will listen to me. By force, I cannot change myself. It has to be with love and calmness, those qualities. And when I start to connect with God, there will be new experiences that happen in our lives. Through that process, our own belief, our own faith in the self and with God and the spiritual people that we interact with, it makes a lot of sense. No? If I don't have faith and belief, we will not make any effort. So yoga is like, um, it gives us strength to have deep, deep realization. And when I have realization, I can bring change in my behavior, in my thinking. Change is very hard. So yoga helps for me to realize and then change happens much faster. And there are different stages of yoga and you will you will learn how even while doing doing some work you can still be connected with the supreme just like how if you're in love with somebody no matter how busy you are you'll have one thread always connected to the person that you love right so likewise if i love this um, spiritual lifestyle there will be one thread one strand connected with the supreme and thereby I change my behavior easily. Uh, what, sorry. Can I say something? Yeah. So, sorry to interrupt. Uh, when, I, when I talk to my patients, sometimes, you know, they cannot connect to yoga right away. So I use the terminology I came up with like BMW. So they ask me, what is BMW? So it's like body mind workout. So the the short form, they try to <laughs> learn it very fast. And then they we change it to yoga. So then they kind of connect it very well. <laughs> cool. Thank you. That was good. So you can Sorry. take away. Everybody can take that. <laughs> that was a very good, Raj. <laughs> that was very good. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. Practice of virtues. Um, you know, souls are filled with uh, negativity. Um, souls are polluted. Even our souls, you know, anger, ego, they all are um, 
taken us and we are in that clutches of those vices and day in day out i need to you know do something if i'm getting angry okay let me pause i don't want to speak something that is angry words but let me pause and then even to pause it takes a while because we are so used to getting angry quickly um i have to consciously make this you know virtues to play out and when there is regular yoga we get that strength to bring self change self change is very hard it is very easy to somebody else i don't like this behavior in you you change very easy to say that but for me to change certain things which are not good it is not easy it takes time so i have to make conscious effort to instill or imbibe divine qualities you know compassion benevolence respect love sweetness caring honesty integrity all of these are virtues okay i need to know where i am lacking and how i can work on those and the brahma kumaris there are so many speakers um they all have their own you um, know topics and methods of how to you know get over certain weaknesses how to strengthen certain virtues and so i need to figure out what um weaknesses i have and what virtues i need to develop okay so it is also a regular subject that i need to work on and the fourth is to help others you know if i have taken benefit <clears throat> let me help others and um, give them a new life which you have taken benefit from and that way you know the the biggest joy you get is when you help others right when you help others you feel very happy when we take we don't feel that much but you are very happy when you give it give good things that you know makes you really very happy and deeply satisfied okay so <clears throat> we had the four pillars and we have the four subjects <clears throat> and if you are working on all of this that means you are making spiritual progress with that i think i will pause here for any questions for few minutes before um, we'll invite um, sister elizabeth sister elizabeth are you there Yes, I'm here. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So, are there any questions from anybody? Satish, you wanted to ask something. We'll have five minutes, and then. Uh... Yeah, my my question was. I think I tried asking this question yesterday also. Uh huh. Question is: So, if you are in Iron Age, hmm. the your next station is going into uh, the Golden Age, right? Hmm. Um, your your next. destination is going into golden age right mm. so from a soul perspective any way you are going there right so how would person say for example like like the folks who are on this call or involved with brahma kumaris right how would they be treated differently by shiv baba right when when he is resetting right mm -hmm. compared to rest of the folks right we are we are not even talking like we have indigenous people right we have people like us and like so 
I, I can relate to when you are probably in golden age that you want to be there and you put in the efforts of spirituality and on probably at right but mm-hmm. as you if if maybe we now know that maybe there is this next station right correct so how can you help me understand that piece i hope my question was clear um to my uh, what understanding what you asked um god loves every soul the same way there is no difference every soul is our his children god has no differentiation in order to receive god's love the more you remember and you will get that reciprocal energy back that's why god is very unique and his love is unconditional those who recognize god recognize themselves they force that connection and they experience god's love it is not that i have been in this brahma kumaris for a long time each one of you can go much ahead of me it is all how you make connection with the supreme it is a spiritual race anybody can overtake anybody god's love is same for everyone we all have 24 hours how you spend your time in your spiritual endeavor is individual journey dal god does not differentiate i will give more for this one less for this one no nope. he will never do that he will never take sides so follow up question sure so like i am accumulating my sanskars right i am accumulating as of now maybe there is somebody else accumulating similar sanskars right maybe they are maybe i am the worst okay let's in that case if i if i come like like tell me how how yes we we are making the connection right we from our side the the connection of the other side i'm assuming is always there but we we have forgotten it right so you you're making that connection so does it help me in this life or next life it helps right from this moment you become instantly god's child and you have access to god's property instantly you got a spiritual birth success is guaranteed for you in life okay not my words supreme soul god's words big thing to recognize god you are each one of you are very very fortunate how many 7 billion are there how many recognize god yeah so take pride in recognizing god and recognizing yourself and where our journey is one step of courage god helps in thousand steps for you okay any other questions okay i will take that as is no